This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. City leaders in Ocean Beach cracking down on the weekly gathering, saying there will be fines of up to $1,000. Authorities put up a barrier around Veterans Park, but within hours, two men took it down. City officials are trying to control gatherings happening every Wednesday night. OB Town Council says they're also seeing unpermitted food vendors, and they've had to pick up more than 6,000 gallons of trash in the past eight weeks. Well, county officials saying that they're optimistic because they are seeing a drop in COVID-19 cases. Just yesterday, the county reported 182 new cases. Now, that is the first time in a while that that number has been under 200. And that means schools could be one step closer to reopening. To get off the state's monitoring list, we need to have a case rate of less than 100. We are just above that number at 101.2. Now, schools would be the only sector to open once we are no longer on the monitoring list. San Diegans have another chance to weigh in on how the county uses its budget, and today will be the last public hearing. The proposed budget comes in at just over $6 billion, and that is more, more than $150 million higher than last year's budget, despite the economic impacts of the pandemic. You can find a link to the virtual meeting on the county website. The board is expected to adopt the budget later this month. Get a check out our weather now, which remains pleasant for the moment. That's right. But today is going to be only a degree or two warmer than yesterday, but the humidity by late in the afternoon and evening is going to start to climb. That trend continues into the weekend. So mid 70s along our coastline today, highs right around 90 degrees inland and in the mountains, about 113 or so in the deserts. Later this afternoon and evening, we will start to notice those tropical clouds building as moisture and humidity from uh, what was Hurricane Alita kind of starts to move into our direction. Could should actually be a colorful sunset today. If not today, the next couple of days, we're going to see some colorful sunrises and sunsets. So moisture and temperatures will be going up for the end of the week with an excessive heat watch in effect for all areas besides the coastline Friday through Monday. Jim? All right, nice sunsets. Little trade off there. Megan, thank you very much. <laughs> For the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.